Welcome once again. Today I'll be showing you how to control things over the internet using the Wemos D1, which looks pretty much like Arduino Uno and the Blink application. Just a quick demo to see what you'll be making at the end. You see moving the slider, it gets brighter. So this is what you'll be making at the end of the day. You could see Mickey Dima and you could also use the Zebra which when we're making the RGB you would be able to see how you can dim and change colors with that. To start with open your Play Store and um, go to Google Blink. So install it, mine is installed, I think I just need to open it. When you're done installing Blink, um, you would have it over here. You open Blink and you will see something like this. You can log in, create a new account. You can sign it with your email. You log in. Create a new one and give the name of the project. Let me say LED bulb. So my device name Wemos D1. So now when this is done, connect via Wi-Fi. That's the only option you have. I don't want to do. It doesn't have Bluetooth, so there's no points. Just connect via Wi-Fi and create. So a token will be sent to your inbox, your email that you used to buy apps. So from the token, you will be able to, you know, sync it and secure your project. So that's without that token, nobody will be able to use your project. So the project makes it, the token makes it personalized to you. So now that you have your code and you want to come up with a short program, perhaps a very little thing that you will configure on your computer. So all I have to do is click on add. Um, you can add a button, you add um, whatever thing you want. Perhaps you want to use a slider, you can click on it. So for me, I prefer a button, a slider, and a zebra. So let's add. So now that we are now on, you've added all the things you wanted. On my Arduino pane, I want to use D3 for the slider. That's the, so we'll go to the setting. So you can see D3 is the pin that I want to use. And it's going to range from 0 to 1,233. So as soon as I slide, you would see the effect on the, on the brightness of the bulb or the speed of the motor, whatever I want to use. Um, so send on release, not just instantly. So it's up to you to figure out how you want to do this. But the most important thing, you must select the pin that you want. I'm using a digital pin and I'm using um, D4. So once you're done, remember, you can always come to setting to change and adult, um, edit things, the project setting. So click on the slider if you want to change anything and edit the project setting. Click on this to change um, whatever you want to do. And as well, you can also copy the where you have to copy the token should you forget it or not sure copy it and paste it's also a very good idea to use that for the zebra which i won't talk about now when i talk about when i'm making the the rgb program i would explain how the zebra works you could also use this one but i i could use the d tree just to turn off and on 
So if I just want to trigger on, trigger off, D3 will be perfect for that. So you could see D3 just as a let switch, turn off, turn on, and um, the slider, I'm using D3 because my bulb is connected to pin D3 on the Wemos board. So that's just this on how to configure the Wemos, the blink on your phone. Now let's get straight to the laptop to configure it. Too. Great. Now that you have the Arduino open, and first now what I advise you do is go to the tools, sorry, um, sketch, go to library, manage libraries. This will pop up, um, type blink, give it some minutes to update the list and search. Okay, good. So select the version. I think I'll go for the most recent. Install the latest version of Blink. Good. Now that I have this, all I have to just do is, um, could you hurry up? Thank you. Good. So just thank you. Since I have my libraries updated, or for if, in your case, you might just need to install the library then go to um, file examples you'll see a lot go to go down to blink from blink go to the wife board wi-fi um since the blink the uh, wimos i don't have wimos on this list um so what i would choose that's closest to it is the esp 8266 standalone so that's even if you look at the board of the Wemos, you will see that it uses the same ESP internet. So now that I have this, you have it here already. All you have to do is from, you could see that these are just details of how it was created, some changes, credits and all that. So you have this library added and all that. And but what you should worry about is, remember, you ex the token from the phone when we created the new login for my, when we created the project, there was a token that was sent to your email. So I think is a time you impute the token where I lighted. So you might just want to go to your email, get the Blink token. Um, so you, you have other things you need, but I just need a token. So I'll just copy the token. Then go back to my Arduino. Not you. Okay, good. So paste it there. Paste the token. After pasting the token, you have your Wi Fi name. Maybe it's blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Okay, then blah. Your password for the Wi Fi that you need um, perhaps is coo 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 coo. And that's it. So you see how easy it is. So it's going to connect to your name, the Wi-Fi name, the Wi-Fi password, and absolutely it's done. How easy, right? So with this, you can connect. However, if you don't have a password, you just don't type anything, leave it blank. Like the, you have a little instruction which tells you that you could do that somewhere around um, well, that's the idea. Just leave it back. Don't type anything. But remember the inverted commas. The two inverted commas, nothing in between. That shows that there is no password. When I'm done, I check that I have uh, my port. Yeah, port 7. I select my board, Wemos. You know, luckily, you have to select Wemos DR. Uh, we have the board among the Arduino list. So you have Wemos um, D1, R1. That's what I use. And yeah, compile and you know, flash this to your device. It's pretty easy, done, and in no time, you'll be ready. So now that it's done, let's check our serial monitor to see.
You see, really super fast. And with this, you could see how easy it is to program and connect anything. What you now have to do is, like I did on my phone, go back and have fun, turn on, turn off, do whatever you like. Um, this is the time to test what, what we've been programming and connecting. So we're using the LED bulb, which is about three volts, about two volts and um, 20 milliamp. So we can't just connect this directly to the project. It's going to blow up. So we will need to use a resistor to step down the current. And since the logic here produces 3.3 volts, and we will subtract it by the volts, the LED drops, the forward voltage, that's two volts. You divide by the amount of current it pulls using the Ohm's law apparently, remember? So we can now go on to pull the current because 20 milliamp divided by a thousand should give you this. So when you find the value, you should have about 1.3 over 0.02, which is the same as the 6.5 ohms that you get. So if you have a 70 ohms resistor, it should work fine. Um, I'll be using an 85 ohms resistor to connect this. So time to connect. I have my negative this way, positive, negative. The longer one is the positive. And you have this oh, resistor connected to reduce the current. So I have my positive this way. And um, there you go, to this side. So where are you negative? The ground, you can see how simple it is and that is all what we've been doing. Easy peasy. So you can now just adjust the slider and make it work. So now that you've finished watching this, what would you like to make first? Would it be a motor that you will be controlling over the internet? Would it be a switch using a relay? Would it be an LED just like this or RGB or the addressable LED strip? It's up to you what you want to do. You could use the zebra for the LED. You could just go like on and off switch or there's so many things you could do with Blink and um, that's the easiest way to actually program anything over the internet. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to control an LED strip, especially I'll go with the RGB, control an RGB strip over the internet. That means you could have, instead of red, you have red, blue, green, and the strip over the internet. So get ready to start clicking to watch and like. Remember to like and subscribe so you can also get notifications when I upload new projects. Thank you for watching. See you another time.